Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Um, this is CCS Apparel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Um, in today's class, I want to show you guys how to cut a perfect pant and how to sew it and how to attach pocket to it. So, let's go this way. If you look at this diagram now, I'm having um, three different diagrams here. One here, one here one here so let's start with this um, if you want to cut a pants these are the measurements you need your waist measurement your hip measurement your uh, lap measurement the I'm sorry your crotch measurement which is here to here your crotch measurement then your lap measurement the full length and the round leg measurement so meanwhile what I did here is um when you're cutting the process of cutting you are going to divide your waist by four when taking your measurements i'll explain that when i get to this diagram you divide uh waist and hip by four then your crotch sorry um lap measurement then the round leg which is on the crotch is gonna be uh divided by two you understand so many people don't really understand how to get um crotch measurement which is this place understand this is how you measure that so this diagram is showing you how you measure your your crotch you understand so the person is going to sit on the flat surface like this so all you need to do is place your tape here if it is going to be high waist trouser you place your tape around here if it is normal waist on the normal waist you place your tape here then you just measure it onto that um flat surface something like this Place your tape on the waist, wherever you want the uh, the waist to be. To start from, you place your tape, then, then you measure it to that flat surface it's sitting on. So that's that about this diagram. So after we might have uh, gotten that, so now let's deal with this. Assuming you've already, you know, for instance, you are going to fold your fabric definitely like this. So assuming you've already folded your fabric into two like that. You are going to get your this your waistline automatically get your hip line get your crotch line your knee line this is the full length and plus the uh folding allowance at the down part so mind you any measurement you are going to take from here 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 you are going to include your band you understand if it is the one that is going to have band if it's not going to have band maybe you just want to pipe it then there is no need but if, if it's going to have band maybe like for instance 1.5 inch band you are going to take off that 1.5 inch then you get your hip line mind you hip line is either 8 or 9 inches do you understand then you get your crotch measurement your knee then your full length so after getting all these lines you come to this down part you measure 2.5 inches here you measure 1.5 inch here then you measure 1 inch here this is it 1 1.5 2 the purpose then you connect it to this hip line the purpose of that is to give the pants a shape you understand if you look at now you see the hip cuff already so after when you might have done that take your um waist measurement divided by four mark plus two inches so in allowance the same thing here hip measurement divided by four plus two inches allowance so on this crotch line now this is your crotch line that is where you're going to take your lap measurement and you are going to divide it by two not by four you divide by two and you're adding one inch allowance you know here we added two inches we added two inches but here you are going to add one inch so you mark take your round leg measurement you had maybe like one or 1.5 inches you understand so you connect together so this front part if you look at it i measure one inches down one inch downward that is for the uh front slant you understand it's for the front slant so in this case now this is the front you are done with the front if you want to cut it back now all you need to do is on this place you are going to add on this part you had 1.5 inch here half inch here so you are going to connect it like this that is for the back so here if you remember we we'll remove one inch here you are going to add another one inch that is from here add another one inch so if you measure from here to here now you are going to have two inches so it's going to come like this then you come down to this place then this back part you are going to add one inch this part you had one inch you go like this then you just follow the same shape you follow the same shape up to this place and you come like this so the purpose of this one inch extension is for the back that 
by the time you take the back that is going to fall in place so that is i use i only use this one to illustrate so that you understand better when i'm cutting the fabric so let's go to the fabric so if you look at these four lines now uh, as it was stated in the uh, diagram this is the waistline automatically this is the hip line then this is the crotch line this is the knee line all these measurements you are starting from your waist this is the full length and this is the folded, uh, folded part of the um, the pants waistline, hip line, crotch line, knee line and the full length so meanwhile if you want to start your measurement you are going to take out 1.5 inch for the band take out 1.5 inch for the band before you now measure the hip line, the crotch line, the knee line and the full length meanwhile to get your hip line is either 8 or 9 inches whichever one you want to make use of so this down part now you are going to measure 2.5 inches if you study the diagram um, very well the one i used in um, illustrating this cutting out these uh, pants will not be difficult for you so here 1.5 inch on the knee line 1.5 inch just make use of 1.5 inch there then here one inch so the purpose of these 2.5 inches, 1 inch then 1.5 inch is to give the pants um, a hip shape. And to give it hip shape. Or hip cuff, whichever one you want to call it. That is the purpose of that. At least for the pants to have a good shape. So now you are going to take your waist measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Lap measurement divided by 2. Then this round leg uh, measurement divided by 2 also. If you look at the diagram very well. I, I stated it there divided by 4 plus 2 inches then the hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches so on your crotch line that is where you are going to take your um, lap measurement then that you are going to divide by two then you had just one inch you had one inch you had one inch not two inches one inch two inches two inches then on this part is just one inch so try to connect them connect them together like this then now the round leg measurement divided by 2 you mark it then you had either 1 or 1.5 inch allowance if you like you can also measure your round leg uh, your round knee measurement you are going to be divided by 2 also then you had maybe 1 or 1.5 inch I don't think it's um, really necessary so I'm just going to connect like that. I'm just going to connect like that. So if you want it very tight, you might need to measure the round knee measurement. You might need to measure the round knee, then you divide by two and you mark whatever you have there. So this is it. This is the front part. So this, uh, this front part now you are going to measure 1 inch downward for the front slanting. You 
we are going to connect it to that place you can actually cut it out now then you can also leave it later after taking the back measurement then you can you can cut it out then here yeah, one inch on this part 1.5 inch then this down part half inch just half inch on that down part 1.5 and then you connect to that place then here you are going to follow the same shape when you get to this uh, hip part when you get to this uh, hip line part you just go up straight to that one inch you measured then this place you are going to add additional one so in between that place now you are going to have two inches one inch there then you slant because the back is always higher than the front when you're making a pant so this is it after connecting them you can see the way it is so this front now you have to cut it off that one inch we measure the other time so it's going to be like this so now you cut out this is your pant it's almost ready so this back part you fold into two then you notch you indicate where the diet is going to be you also like 3.5 inches downward like 3.5 inches downward for the back dart The front doesn't necessarily have to have a uh, that. So now you are going to mark where you want to fix the pocket. So just measure two inches here, then six point five inches downward, or seven inches. Seven inches. 6.5 inches or 7 inches so now just give it um, a small curve so that it's, um, the pocket part won't look uh, manly so now to cut out the pocket making use of 12.5 inches here then um, seven inches here yeah? just cough a little bit so now open up this one that is the two pocket together open them up like that then you place this one on it like this I just try to cut out the same shape there so that is the pocket so the cutting part is uh is ready so now i will just show you how to join them So now place this on this like this place the pocket on it like this they are going to sew around like that so after sewing like that you notch Open it up and top stitch on the pocket side. Top stitch on the pocket side.
So just try to fold it on it like this and arrange the pocket the way it should be. Arrange the pocket the way it should be like this. So now just sew up to this place. If you like, you can turn the pocket in. But I think this is more easier. So after sewing, you can just weave. This is more easier. So this other side now, you're just going to tag it down. So I need straight to tag it down. So this is the pocket, the pocket is ready. You are going to do the same thing on the other leg. I think this is the left leg, the front part, then you do the same thing on the right part of the leg. Do the same thing on the other part. That is the other part. You place it on it like this, then you do the same thing. So I've already done that. So what you do now is you place the uh, the two front pieces on each other, then you join. Join the first uh, flap. Join it like this. You don't necessarily have to sew it to the hand part. So after that is open up like this then the next thing you do is you take the back that after joining those two pieces together those two front pieces take the back that just so like this like quarter inch or half inch to 3.5 inches as i said earlier do the same thing with the other back uh back piece so now after that just place the front on the first side of the back you start sewing i started with one inch at this upper part so when you get to the hip you start reducing it to half inch you do the same thing on the other side too so after that, you are going to take your final measurement at the back. Yes, you take your final measurement at the back. The waist divided by two now. You mark. Then the if divided by two, you mark. I'm taking the final measurement at the back. That is when you are going to take your final measurement. The accurate measurement. So after that, take the round leg measurement divided by two also. So it up then now i'm going to take the lap measurement divided by two also that's the lap measurement you sew it up do the same thing on the other leg so after that you just close down this uh this underneath you close it up And your pant is ready um i think i have a video on how to fix a band a perfect band on pants like this i'm going to drop the the link of that video in the description uh, box below so you can actually watch that in case you want to fix the band so if you don't want to band on it maybe you just want piping you can just take a uh, cutting bias to just pipe it inside rather than putting band but if you want band, I have the video. I'll drop it in the box below. The pant is ready. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.